that was pretty cool. Anyways, so we are heading to um, the pizza place, Pyology. Go pick up our pizzas. Two, because we have two 30-day pizza cards. And we're going to go have pizza with friends. Stay tuned to the journey. Yo, so here we are at Pyology, picking up some pizzas. I'm like a pizza delivery boy now. On my move. We just got out of Pyology. Ugh got our pizza and we are heading to have pizza with friends it's gonna be awesome let's go here we are in Hagatnya. we're gonna deliver some pizzas a lot of the normal people weren't in their spot but um found some again people so we'll give a little family uh a bunch of pizza so stay tuned oh that didn't work out i'm on search for some people inside of the road so we're in the capital in Hagatnya Guam, and I just saw somebody who's still uh, manning a corner, trying to make that dollar, trying to get some food, I guess. And guess what? Got some food. Hopefully, he enjoys it. Some pizza pie. Yeah, yeah. Pretty crazy place. Going over the bridge. Always fun. People who are hungry over the bridge. Yeah, I am striking out. Nobody wants pizza. Hello? Hello? Yeah. You guys uh, eat today? Yeah. You guys want some pizza? Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. You want pizza? Yeah. yeah? Okay, cool. How many of you guys are there? Uh, three. Three guys? Okay, cool. I have three boxes of pizza. Sweet. Hey guys, just finished dropping off a bunch of pizzas to random people uh, living on the streets, right? Um, had some difficulty initially finding everybody. I don't know why they weren't in their usual spots, but hey, if they got out of homelessness, that's a great thing. If they were just somewhere else to um, get away from the, the crappy weather, then that's a, that's a different story. Um, but, uh, I did get to talk to, um, a bunch of them about how to get help, uh, where to go, has anybody helped them, and the assessments I make are pretty much the same, like, they either didn't know or, um, no. So, if anybody sees people out on the streets, uh, you know, I don't give money, uh, I usually give food or whatever they want, uh, I, sometimes I walk up to people and be like, what would make your life, you know, easier today? And sometimes it's food, sometimes it's, you know, uh, little hygiene stuff, like little things. And, you know, I'm all about making uh, those kind of things happen because that's the kind of stuff that shows them that there are people that are out there that care. And, you know, sometimes it's those small acts of kindness that changes their whole world. Um, I've met individuals that were homeless and after working with them, talking with them, empowering them they got out of it and it was you know w w funny story I met a veteran who was um who was homeless once upon a time and uh he had a job and everything you know was getting his va stuff uh you know squared away and um he was living in a cave uh eating at a cheap vietnamese restaurant in in anigua uh you know to make a make it the money that he collected worth it. And uh, the day before his job interview, it was pouring rain. So me and my group got together and we were like, man, we usually don't do this, but you know, this guy is dedicated, committed to, you know, getting off the street. And uh, we, we, we put him up in a, in a hotel room. Story gets even crazier than that. Uh, but long story short, he, he got out of it and it's amazing. It was awesome. Um, and sometimes it is just small acts of kindness, if, whether it's, you know, giving them food or, you know, sharing a conversation with them. You got to understand some of these individuals isolate themselves and sometimes they just need people to talk to and, uh, sharing stories and, you know, communicating with these individuals could really change their life. So today was a great success. Uh, thank you, uh, everybody who's been following lately. I know this is day two. Uh, I didn't have a cameraman today, so a lot of the footage is dark. 
uh, but it's definitely worth the experience because every time we go out, people ask questions like, what are you doing? You know, and everything we do can be easily replicated and, you know, showing genuine concern, compassion, and, you know, showing people small acts of kindness. It changed your life. Uh, it's been an amazing experience. This is just day two. We got 28 more days. So if you know somebody that would benefit from, you know, a, a warm pizza, uh, let us know if there's any um, food allergies or whatever. We'll, we'll do our best to accommodate that. But uh, we, we want to plan for success. So if you want to surprise somebody with a warm meal, um, just let us know. Hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, or whatever social media you saw this on, and uh, we'll get to them. We got 30 days. That's about 60 pizzas, you know. That's, it's a good meal. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned. Stay safe. Stay in the fight, guys. That was pretty cool. Once I've got on the side of the road, who wasn't going to turn down a pizza? It's still hot. But nobody's really in the places today. I don't know. I don't know why. I should go check them out anyways. The pizza's still warm.